What's up guys, Dude on here checking in. Uh, this is part two of the CNC uh, build or walkthrough or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to show you guys on this part, we're going to do an unboxing video pretty much. Um, and kind of show you guys all the electronics that I had to buy that uh, didn't come with the machine. So uh, yeah. Alright, so these are the parts that I got. Um, came with this um, power supply and um, for these uh, stepper drivers. Um, I really haven't looked them up, see how good of quality they are, but they look pretty decent. Um, let's see if I can focus on that. Yeah, 2H micro step driver by one tie. So, I don't know, it's got a pretty big uh, heat sink on it, so that's always good. Um, and yeah, this is what I was telling you guys, it came with, uh, with this breakout board. Um, but it uses a parallel port on the computer and uh, desktop, and I don't have that, so <clears throat> we had to go ahead and get a... Uh, Adreno. So, um, I guess I'll show you guys um, what I went ahead and got. Um, let's see if I can get this thing to focus a little better. So, I had to buy this, um, you know, the Arduino Uno R3. I got them from eBay. Um, that's where I usually get all my stuff, you know. I've never had any problems with anything from here, so I don't see why not. So let me show you. Okay. So I got the R3, and it comes with the um, Arduino Uno right here with um, the, the shield, and it comes with the motor drivers. Um. It has a lot of instructions here too, actually, on their website. Um, yeah, so hopefully it's good. I haven't, you know, heard any bad reviews on them, so um, it should be good. I also went ahead and bought some uh, some of this quick uh, aviation plugs. Uh, that way I can keep everything neatly, you know. When the wiring, um, these will, um, this side right here will screw into the box, and uh, this part will go obviously to the wire that's coming from the from the CNC machine. And uh, if I ever need to move it or whatever, or take the controller out to do something with it, uh, I don't know, you know, service it or something, I could just unplug it, quick connect here, and uh, everything comes off. So I ordered uh, the pack of 12 uh, for 15 bucks, so I figured that was a good, really good deal. So I got, got one of those. Um, I got, got some limit switches. This machine doesn't come with limit switches, so we're going to go ahead and install some limit switches to, you know, home the machine and, um, you know, tell it where to stop, how far it can go. These are made by Temco. Uh, it uses a roller. Uh, lever type um, I think that will just be good you know keep things lasting a little longer um, and we also got two emergency or the pack of two emergency stop switches um, you push them to stop it and then you twist it um, to reset it you know to resume or whatever um, these are C rated uh, obviously, it's a Chinese brand, but they look pretty good. Um, yeah, and these were only three ninety for the two pack free shipping. So as long as it stops the machine, um, I'm good with it. And also bought a hundred foot of um, quarter inch braided expandable sleeving. Um, this is that black stuff that you usually see in the power suppliers. You know, it makes everything look real neat. So I bought a spool of that, um, 19 bucks. I went to Fry's yesterday and they had 16 foot length for 
14 bucks. So I figured, nah, you know, I'll just wait a couple of days and get it delivered. Um, as you can see, this is what it's, it's going to look like. This is the braid on it. On this power supply I got here, I used for to test electronics and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and um, go back over to the machine and I'm going to unbox the... Um, the uh, the box that I used to put all my electronics in that I bought and a couple of little electronics parts and we'll start uh, showing you guys that. Alright guys, so uh, here we go with the unboxing. Um, before I decided what to, when I was looking, you know, to where to, you know, what kind of box or whatever to be able to fit all my electronics. Um, the other thing I came up with was uh, like a junction box from Home Depot, one of those PVC uh, great boxes. I think it was a 12 by 12 by 6 foot. I mean by 6 inches. 12 by 12 by 6. And um, it was like $40. And it was kind of small. You know. Didn't have any cooling. You know capability. So I had to obviously cut a hole in it. And put a fan in it. So I decided to to go to a, a local computer store. Which I went to Micro Center. And I got this. Um, Gold Master. Um, computer case and this is the um, Elite 130 series I think it's called the model um, and it, it's nice it's real nice it's small I think it'll do the job just fine so I think we'll get to uh, get to unboxing that okay I think this only do this will be like my third unboxing video I don't, I don't really get impatient sometimes and I don't I forget to pull out the camera and do these. Um, so, this is our first one. Gosh. Instructions. Some is styrofoam, which I hate styrofoam. This stuff is messy. Design is pretty nice. I like it. It's uh, really small. Take the zoom out. Yeah, so um, it's got this mesh grill here in the front and with the cool master logo. Uh, obviously, we you know, I don't know. We might be able to use these. I don't know yet. Um, actually, we will. We'll try to wire these up to the to the USB port on the Arduino. Um, you know, to be able to connect that way without having to open the box up, but it's um, it's real small. I think it's about 16 inches by 12. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I haven't measured it. All right, guys. So um, I kind of decided how I wanted to mount my. Uh, my motor drivers, which are these. Um, so I went to AliExpress.com and um, I looked for these, this specific model. And um, it's nice because they give you a a drawing of you know the base of the of the driver, pretty much how it mounts here and the mounting holes that it has here. Uh, and it gives you several specs. Same thing with the with the uh, power supply, which is a one tie one tie power supply too. Um, so what I did is uh, once I got those specs I went ahead and uh, made a CAD uh, drawing of of the base 
uh, of the drivers and the same thing for the power supply right here. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, I kind of already got how you know I got to figure out how I want to play them out. Uh, so that would be kind of like like this, um, and they got like a 30 millimeter spacing between each other to give them space to breathe. Um, that way air gets between them. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, you know, cut the um, the excess paper off. Now I'm doing this to uh, to be able to tape it down. I'm gonna go ahead and tape it to the case. That way I know where to drill my holes. Um, I'm just gonna use regular clear tape um, to be able to do that. So obviously you don't wanna You don't want to, you know, cut and cut into the uh, cut the inside of the spacing because that's what your spacing is. And I'm gonna leave this little bit here. Uh, I guess I could use that as a reference or something. Um, it's actually pretty nice. It fits right in between these two indentations. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. There's an indentation here and one here fits perfectly in between that so what I'm gonna do is you know my edge of my paper put it flush over here and make sure it's um, even on the sides just like that and then I'll go get it and go ahead and get some tape so this is some of that cheap tape so it's kind of hard to cut it so all right so I got some tape so I think what I'm gonna do is um, Tape to the side first, just like that, and then kind of line it up, and then we'll do the other side. So I'm gonna put it on the tape, and then uh, I mean on the paper, and then just kind of stretch it, just to get whatever wrinkles the paper might have, and tape it down. I think I'll do the same thing on the sides just to keep everything nice and tight. It won't hurt it, you know. Besides, I have several copies of this on save, so I'll just print more if I need to. Alright, so there we go. We'll get that down. So I'm using an eighth inch bit, which is big enough to get. Um, Get the standoffs, you know, the thread of the standoffs in there. Um, right here. This, these are 3 30 seconds, I think. So I'm going to drill those holes and um, so we can install the standoffs. not big enough. Alright, so I gotta make it bigger. Alright, 
right, so we're going to use a, uh, what is this? 9 60 fourths. You can just go over the holes. Huh? Cool. Alright, now we can uh, stick the standouts in here. Perfect. There we go. I might put some uh, taller feet on the case and maybe run a fan on the bottom. I don't know, that's just a thought. Okay, it just uh, I might only do that if it's not enough cooling, but it's um, it's got that big fan on the front and then one on the side, so I think it should be plenty. Okay, so I got all my uh, standoffs on. I'll go ahead and run and get a, um, a ratchet with a socket just to tighten everything up. And uh, yeah, we'll go on to the next step. <laughs> 